at the zone 18 hours, 17 minutes coordinated universal time. Today we look at a vintage film circa 1973. This very brief U.S. government film gives an overview of various methods of calculating and reporting the correct time. It spotlights the U.S. Naval Observatory headquartered in Washington, D.C., and some of the time measuring equipment used. Among the many devices shown, are a UNIVAC computer and tape units, telescopes, various tracking and recording, and communications equipment. WVR time at the sound of the tone, 1015. When you set your watch by radio or telephone time signal, you're actually synchronizing your time with the United States Naval Observatory. Located in Washington, D.C., the Naval Observatory is the nation's timekeeper. For more than 150 years, it has been providing the basis of all standard time throughout this country while providing ships and later aircraft with precise time needed for accurate and safe navigation. Our standard time is based on what is known as mean solar time. It is determined by observing sun and star positions and measuring their movements. However, because mean solar time involves the Earth's rotation, which is not absolutely uniform, it gains about one second each year. Therefore, additional systems are used by the Naval Observatory as cross-references for highly technical and scientific use. One of them is called ephemeris time. It is based on the moon's position relative to the stars and is believed to be consistent. Another is called atomic time. A bank of these atomic clocks maintains an accuracy of one one hundred millionth of a second per day. This high precision is necessary for the most exacting technological use, such as in space tracking and deep space research. It is the responsibility of the time service not only to distribute time, but also to check accuracy of its use. One method is by monitoring certain television signals that are broadcast using atomic time pulses. Additionally, the Naval Observatory conducts research in astronomy. It uses several giant telescopes, including a 26-inch refractor telescope. The largest one, a 61-inch reflector telescope, is at the observatory's Flagstaff Station in Arizona and is used to pinpoint accurate positions of faint stars. From the wealth of information the observatory gathers, it issues several publications of celestial data for astronomers and navigators including the Nautical Almanac and the Air Almanac. Although research in many areas of astronomy is likely to increase, the job of providing accurate time for the Navy and for the general public remains as one of the primary functions of the U.S. Naval Observatory. At the zone, 18 hours, 17 minutes, coordinated universal time. Can you name this early UNIVAC computer model? If so, please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section.